Almost a year ago, I shared a video on how to fold with the KonMari method. Then people started asking me questions like, what about fitted sheets? What about hoodies? What about bathing suits? That's why today I'm going to rectify and show you how to vertically fold absolutely anything with the vertical folding, aka the KonMari method. I will also share what I like about the KonMari method and what rules I've kind of stopped using. What's up fam? My name's Marissa from Squirrels of a Feather and today I'm going to show you how to vertically fold absolutely anything. What I love most about the vertical folding method, aka the KonMari method of folding, is that it really makes laundry time a lot more fun. I hear you in the background saying, laundry, fun, yeah right, but it's true. It's more like a gentle meditation or an origami session than it is a chore. Vertical folding has totally revolutionized how I organize our drawers. True story, the first time I made this video, which I will link in the comment section below, I had to climb up and down off of our TV stand about 60 or 70 times. My legs were so sore the next day. This new video took even longer to make and a lot of love went into it. So if you enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and consider sharing with someone else that you know loves tidying and organizing. The basic principle of vertical folding is to fold the items in halves and thirds until you get a small rectangle. That's why I said it's kind of like origami. When folding items like pants and leggings, you need to make sure to leave a gap when you bring the leg hem up to the waist hem, and this will allow space for the fabric to move and shift and result in a nicer, tidier rectangle. I started over on this pair of leggings to adjust the waist hem, and you can see how I folded it in half, tucked in the crotch, and then folded it by halves and thirds until I got a nice, tidy rectangle. The jeans are folded in exactly the same way, but since they are a stiffer fabric, they stand up much easier. I find the KonMari folding method for shirts is a little tedious, so I choose to use a different method, which I'll show in just a minute. Basically, with the vertical folding method that I use, I draw two imaginary lines from halfway between the neckline to the shoulder, straight down from the shoulders to the waist, and I use my fingers to roll those sections in thirds and then fold the t-shirt back on itself. Let's see that again in slow motion. I prefer this method because I find it much faster and mama ain't got time to spend 10 seconds adjusting the sleeves with the KonMari folding method. The KonMari folding method for long sleeve shirts is very similar to short sleeve shirts. You're going to fold the body across in thirds, and then the sleeves you have to cross again several times and fold back on themselves. Again, just like with the short sleeve shirts, I find this process a little bit tedious, so I use my own faster vertical folding method. Again, you're going to draw two imaginary lines halfway between the shoulders and the neckline all the way down to the waist, and you're gonna use your fingers to grab those points and fold the shirt into thirds back on itself. Fold the neckline inside so that the neckline is not on the outside of the folded rectangle.
With tank tops, again, you're going to break it into thirds and fold it towards the center and then take the strap end and pull it down towards the waistline, making sure to leave a gap and finally fold it into thirds. For bras, you have the choice of either using a longer storage piece and tucking in the straps and storing them lengthways, or you can use a smaller box and fold the straps inside the cups and fold the cups back on themselves. When folding underwear, fold the crotch to the hem and then take the edges and fold them by thirds towards the center. Then fold that in half. I like to fold boxers by folding them in half across the waistband, and then in thirds, and then in thirds from top to bottom. Because the sides of my two-piece bathing suit were strappy, I chose to fold those towards the middle before folding the crotch to the hem, but you could also fold them like underwear. And then fold the straps into the top bra part of the swimsuit, and then store everything folded into itself. To fold fitted sheets, simply place the fitted sheet flat on the floor face up and move the fitted parts of the elastic towards the center. Then you are going to fold the fitted sheet lengthwise into a third and then across another third. And then finally, take the long part and fold it into halves and then thirds until you have a long rectangle. <laughs> 